Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Today I want to talk about something that's been in the news recently all across the globe and that's the new tax that's coming in for consumers at coffee shops. Now as you know I'm not a big coffee drinker but I do love coffee shops themselves because they provide me with lots of different um, sources from used uh, coffee grounds for my compost as well as these pots that I made for my slug traps. But these are now becoming a huge global problem for recycling. Now, coffee shops are misleading us in the fact that they are setting up recycling bins and asking us to put these in. But the truth is that the outside layer is made from, uh, from paper and it is recyclable. But the uh, waterproof lining is made from plastic and it's really hard for recycling companies to separate these two. Now, this tax is now being dubbed as the latte levy uh, and it's going to come in at around sort of between 5p and 50 cents depending on whereabouts you are in the world. Now this is a tax on the consumers. So this, if you go into a coffee shop and you buy a coffee, you will then have to pay this extra money uh, in order for the government to try and save enough cash to try and build more recycling plants. Um, but the, the misleading thing is, is if one of these cups end up in the recycling, that whole bag is then contaminated and won't be used. It's, it's becoming an awful, awful problem. Now I know people really did kick off about the 5p carrier bag tax that came in. Everyone was in uproar, but a couple of months in, everyone's starting to get used to it, and it is really becoming a good help on the impact or uh, on on plastics through carrier bags. I do think this is going to be a good idea, uh, but let's go and see what the media said already, and then I'll tell you the story about what they're missing out afterwards. Bluntly, the message now is: stay with crockery, or if you have to have a takeaway drink. Bring your own container. Punches aren't being pulled. The MPs say the government should ban all hard to recycle paper cups in six years time if they're not fully recyclable by then. They also point out the great British national coffee confusion. Almost all of us thinks that paper containers get recycled. In fact, hardly any of them do. Now it's been estimated that America throws away around 146 billion cups a year. Here in the UK it's a lot less but we still contribute to 2.5 billion cups thrown away a year, which produces around 30,000 tonnes of waste and only 1 in 400 of those cups actually get recycled. This is because we only have three recycling plants that can separate paper from plastic throughout the entire country. And one is here in Kendall, where that tiny lucky minority of cups gets broken down into quality paper, reusable plastic, and would you believe, minerals and clay for farmers. The issue that we've got is, whereas we've got a capacity of half a billion cups, we're using a fraction of that at the moment to recycle cups. So the challenge isn't technology, because the technology is there. And the more material we get in, we will just expand that, our capacity out. The challenge that we've got is actually the supply of cups to us. But three plants can't meet the problem and supply can't meet this capacity because it means separate collection for plastic coated paper cups. So the MPs say better to persuade us all to use our own cups by imposing the Lassie levy. Meanwhile two major high street players, Costa and Starbucks, have begun small scale recycling, discounts for using your own cup and a five pence latte levy. But MPs say none of it goes anywhere near addressing the problem. Moreover, they say three of the biggest chains didn't even engage with their work. They are McDonald's, Café Nero and Pret-a-Manger. But this afternoon, Pret told us they have introduced a 50 pence discount if you bring your own cup. Now what the media don't really seem to be covering is the fact there's already an alternative out there. There is a plastic called PLA which is made from cornstarch which is completely compostable. Uh, it is slightly controversial in the way and the impact that it is on the planet with GMO uh, crops and things like that. But as a plastic alternative it seems to be the way forward. Now the 25p tax or the latte tax seems to be a good idea for the short run but governments really need to crack down and ban these kind of products. Now let's go into see a little bit more about PLA. It's uh, paper on the outside and a, a starch liner on the inside made out of uh, PLA, uh, a biodegradable starch, so it can right. be composted, and the lid as well. However, compostable isn't the simple solution. These cups need specialist industrial treatment to break down. They won't recycle like ordinary paper. They won't compost like ordinary food waste. So, until easily recyclable paper cups go mainstream, what can you do? Simple, don't use a throwaway cup, 
do bring your own, wash it up, use it again, repeat as necessary. Now it's fantastic the governments are now waking up at the fact that plastics are really harmful to the planet but they're telling you that they break down but plastics don't actually break down. They break up to, into something called microplastics that are now getting into our food chain. Now they're failing to mention the fact that plastics are extremely harmful for human consumption and the fact that if we are putting hot products into plastic items this intensifies the, the leaching and the chemicals. Now these chemicals are called phthalates and endocrine disruptors. Now this can cause anything from your brain all the way down to your reproductive organs, from mood swings, depression, headaches, all the way to Alzheimer's, to thyroid issues that cause uh, obesity, respiratory issues, uh, in infertility, breast cancer, prostate cancer, testicular cancer. These, these plastics are leaching these kind of harmful chemicals into our foods and beverages. And the, the, the government are just doing nothing about it. Now I just want to show you, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but you can see the code here. Now this is a recycling code. Now I will be doing a video on these shortly, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about this. But what it is, uh, it's really misleading. Now as you can see here, this is P, uh, number six and PS. This is polystyrene. Now thankfully coffee shops have moved over from polystyrene styrofoam cups into paper cups that was a huge leap but they're not telling you at the fact that this polystyrene uh, styrofoam can also come in a, in a solid uh, form it's a brittle really brittle plastic that is equally as toxic and extremely dangerous now if you're putting this lid on and sipping a hot beverage through that you're intensifying the leaching by at least 10 times and you're absorbing these kind of um, awful chemicals that attach themselves to, to fats and muscles. So you're basically um, drip feeding yourself these poisons over decades of your life, which then eventually will cause so many different health issues. Now there are lots of uh, alternatives. Now for the past two decades, uh, a BPA free product, now BPA is bisphenol A, it's been notorious and have been in the news for, for, for decades now and it doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. Some countries are phasing out or banning BPA being used in any children's products mainly because it's now being shown that these chemicals are passed on to our children from the fetal stage all the way up to five years old and it can really affect children's health. This has been an ongoing battle for over 10 years but meanwhile the chemical companies are changing the molecular structure of BPA and has now released something called BPS. This means that some manufacturers can promote the fact that their products are BPA free but some will in fact contain BPS. Studies are now showing that BPS could be 10 times more harmful than BPA. The health and safety for food is, is amazing. Uh, there are so many different rules and regulations about the coffee, about the, the beverages, and about the food that you're drinking when they're going into the product, but there's absolutely no regulation to the plastics that they're using. Now, the plastic industry has 80,000, maybe 85,000 different plastics out on the market right now, and they don't need to test this. They don't need to go through any animal testing or health testing. It, they can just release it and it works in the reverse where if they then find out that bisphenol A is causing cancer and lots of other health issues, it then goes through a really long period through the court system and it's just, it's, it's just ridiculous. So I will be doing another video on these harmful chemicals. I want to do an entire documentary because I do believe that everyone needs to know about these. But the alternatives when it comes to today's project of the, the coffee, now you can get these uh, refillable cups now a lot of them at Starbucks and other other brands such as Costas and things like that they are also allowing these to be made out of plastic and again some of these Stanley steel ones Stanley steel ones have a plastic lining exactly the same as these cups so you're no better off about the leaching that you're absorbing um, now these plastics are also number seven they can be number five but you need to look at the bottom and find out which number it is on, on here. You want to avoid number seven, number six and number three at all costs. So I recommend getting these. Now these are completely stainless steel. Um, they don't have any, uh, any water lining or plastic lining on the inside. The only problem is I did think it was coming in a glass lid but this is still plastic. So if you're putting a hot product, product in there 
uh, and the steam's in there, you're still then dripping in uh, lots of leaching uh, plastics. But these are a better alternative. I will leave a link for some of these in the description box below. And they also come with these fantastic metal straws. Now straws are equally becoming a huge environment problem when it comes to recycling. And again, they get made out of different plastics. Some are extremely harmful and some are slightly better, but I will go into another documentary on that as well. So I suggest definitely getting these if you're a huge coffee drinker and you wanna do it on the go, get your uh, discount that these coffee shops are offering. Carry one of these if you can, you can get them smaller and they come with these plastic cups as well, uh, the cup holders. So again, it's another plastic problem, but we are making steps forward with the PLA and with these. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and taken a lot of information in. I know it is slightly overwhelming and a lot of people are disbelieving what I'm saying, but this is the truth. I've done nearly two years research into plastics so far already. So please do some research of your own, find out this is a huge health problem that the government are not really listening to and try to do something about it by reducing your plastic intake and consumption. Anyway, take care of yourself, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.